Greetings from the Ericosis is Mad Shad. It was a wonderful Monday. It's, uh, oh, it was chilly this Monday, like 38 degrees. Uh, uh, later on, it's, it's, it's heating up. The sun's popped out. It's warming everything up. It's, uh, roughly in the 50s. I'm here in my office. It's very, uh, it's very chilly, very drafty, but uh, otherwise comfortable. Yeah. I'll tell you about those who were not comfortable. Those Americans that are trapped in Afghanistan left her by Trader Joe's militia slash incompetent regime. At least we forget 13 servicemen and women died at Abigail, Kabul, Afghanistan, along with 200 other poor souls. 300 plus people lost arms and legs and limbs. Things that don't grow back. A lot of them were service members as well. Every day, never forget, and never forget whose fault this is. Deploy knife hands. <laughs> but there was hope. Folks getting them out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple Project, Exodus Project, Dynamo, Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. Ha <laughs> ha. And at least we forget that 200 plus, it's more like 300, 400, they keep arresting more, uh, are still incarcerated over the J6 debacle, held there as political prisoners without bail, without sentencing. And they're given, and when they are sentenced, they're given full sentencing. Full. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of evidence is withheld, uh, inadmissible. Uh, things like, you know, video of, of, of them opening the doors and allowing them to come in, you know, things like that. Yeah. Not, not admissible, not admissible in court. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Yeah. They were in deplorable uh, conditions until Marjorie Taylor Greene made them clean it all up. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Bullshit. Right. Uh, but there's hope there's thousands of people trying to get them out family, friends, loved ones, uh, Law firms doing pro bono work, uh, charitable organizations uh, sending care packages and providing for the uh, the financial assistance of the displaced families. There's a lot of moms and dads in prison. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're doing the things. Uh, every morning they make a phone call to their family, friends, and loved ones, and they sing at the top of their lungs the national anthem. Yeah, remember that song? Yeah. Every day, never forget. I never forget whose fault this is. Meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, oh, I, I don't know, war. Uh, okay, well, we're going to segue into war. Uh, the AI wingman is going to make its debut in this, uh, in this war. <laughs> not, not to mention the THAAD missile system, the, Sa- the THAAD, the THAAD defense. It's a high altitude uh, aerial missile defense system. Basically, it shoots down ballistic missiles, ICBMs, things of that nature. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the the AI wingman for the uh, for the aircraft for the jets is going to make its debut uh, when they run around and do sorties. It's they've got them. They've got them on the uh, on the carriers. Oh shit! Sure. <laughs> Speaking of planes, <sighs> slow down. Uh, yeah, the the airport's right over there somewhere. Uh, so. Uh, and in other news, uh, something really cool, uh, scientists in Connecticut, uh, I think it's University of Connecticut, they were, they figured out a way to make glass stronger. Literally, it is, uh, let me get this right, uh, 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 four times lighter than steel and five times stronger than steel. Yeah. Uh, and they did this by mixing it with DNA. Uh, yeah, the, the, uh, apparently the, the, the structure of DNA is, is really, really strong. <laughs> Who would have thought? Uh, so it's, it's in its, uh, its infantile phase right now, and they're, they're still trying to figure it out. But they're, they're, they're talking about oh, Iron Man armor and all this and that. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I mean, you hear about these, these little things. I don't know what kind of DNA, what, what kind of D, what, what DNA did they use? I mean, is it living glass? I mean, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's it's pretty cool. Buzz bomb. So, uh, that's pretty much all I got on this Monday. Go Team Linda. Go Team Linda. Fuck cancer. She's kicking ass, taking names. Uh, she's still doing her chemo treatments. Uh, but the scans are showing up that uh, the, the, the tumors and cancer... Uh, things are smaller, disappearing, or the same. They're, they're starting to disappear and become smaller. So, great news! Great news. Uh, Team Baby Harper. I have no updates 
at this time I can only assume that Team Baby Harper is still in ICU uh, and with the ventilator but getting stronger and stronger by the day and soon to be out of ICU so this has been Mad Shad every day never forget